welcome to e tutor plus today we are going to discuss a question of class 10 chapter 2 linear equations in two variable this is the question out of 940 kilometer journey a part of the journey was covered by a motor car at the speed of 72 km per hour the remaining part of the journey was covered by the train at the speed of 84 km per hour. If the total distance was covered in 12 hours, find the distance traveled by the train and the time taken by it to cover the distance. Here we have nine forty km is the total journey. Nine forty is the total journey and 72 kilometer is the car speed and 84 kilometer is the train speed and one more data here 12 hours is the total time taken for the entire journey let us solve this question solution so the unknown data are the distance traveled by car and distance traveled by train so let us take let the distance traveled by car be x kilometer and the distance traveled by train be y kilometer. So we, these are two variables taken. And from first, first statement, we have 940 is the total journey that is traveled by train and traveled by car. So here X is the distance covered by car and Y is the distance covered by train and total is 940 kilometer. This is first equation. And going to the next statement, we have 72 kilometer is the car speed and 82 kilometer 84 kilometer per hour is the train speed there is a relation between distance time speed what is that speed is equal to distance divided by time so here we have to find out time because here the unknown data are the distance traveled by train and time taken by it to cover the distance. So we have to find out time is equal to distance divided by speed, right? So for car, distance covered by car is taken as x and for the car speed is 72 km per hour and distance covered by train taken as y and train speed is taken as 84 km per hour and this is equal to the entire journey was covered in 12 hours so that time is 12 hours so from this equation we can solve we can take 1 by 12 as common that then it will become x by 6 plus y by 7 is equal to 12 so x by 6 plus y by 7 is equal to 12 will go to the right side and it will become 144. From this, we can take the common denominator as 42 because 6 and 7, there is com no common factors. So it will become 7x plus 6y is equal to 144. And we have 7x plus 6y is equal to 6048. This is our equation number 2. So we get two equations. Equation one is x plus y equal to 940 and 7x plus 6y is equal to 6048. By solving these two, we have x plus y is equal to 940. This is equation number one and 7x plus 6y is equal to 6048, equation number two. We have to make either x or y for common for both, both the equation. So we can multiply equation one with a number six. Then equation one will become six X plus six Y is equal to five 
six four zero. Let it be equation number three. And next equation, the same equation. Six seven x plus six y is equal to six zero four eight. This is equation number same equation. See here six y six y. We can cancel by subtracting both the equation. That is equation three minus equation two. What we get? This will become minus minus minus. The answer is this will this both both will cancel, and the answer is minus x is equal to minus four zero eight. From that, x is equal to four zero eight. Now, putting x is equal to four zero eight in equation one, what we get four zero eight plus y is equal to nine forty, and y is equal to nine forty minus four zero eight. The answer is five thirty two kilometer. This is also in kilometer. So x and y. So the distance. The question asked is distance traveled by the train. That is taken as y. Y that is equal to five three two kilometer. This is our answer. And there is one more question. Time taken by the train. That is time taken by train is equal to we know that. It is distance traveled by train that is five thirty two, and time sorry speed of the train is eighty four. We can cancel this. We will get nineteen, and this will become three. So nineteen by three. Nineteen by three. Solving this, six three is a eighteen. Reminder is one, so we can write it as six and one by three. Time is denoted in hours. Depending upon the question, the speed is given as kilometer per hour, so the time is six and one by three hours. Is it okay? Thank you.